Hey everyone, this is Lalo Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today we're recreating the bass line from Jordan's Bow's track Something To Me and it sounds like this. This is the original. Remake. It's pretty damn close, I really like this recreation and it's a pretty simple bass. The macro is the thing that's gonna be a little bit more different, so if you like this video, you can hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, or if you want to support the channel, you can either buy my preset pack that is available here in the description below, or you can go to buy me a coffee and get me a coffee, it really helps support the channel. But enough with the talking and let's start with the sound design, so we're gonna initialize the preset here from Serum. So starting here with the initial preset, we're gonna start here with oscillator A, oscillator B. We're gonna put both one octave down and it sounds like this. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the unison of oscillator A to seven voices and then tune to 0.18 and it sounds like this. So you have here oscillator A being the stereo one and oscillator B being the mono one. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna also put the level of oscillator B to 83%. And now we're gonna activate the filter MG Low 24. We're gonna put the cutoff to 373. The resonance is gonna keep at 10% and the drive to 19. And we're gonna select A and B. Just for a little moment, we're gonna put the master here to 66%. And this is what we have right now. The effects section is pretty simple. We have a filter at 1042 hertz. This is just to make sure that there are no high frequencies going through, MG low 18. And we're also gonna choose a distortion. Tube distortion drive at 66% and the wet at 100. So you can see it creates a little bit of distortion, a little bit of character in the high end, which is actually what we want. And now let's go to the automations. So in the automations, basically we have this shape over here. And what we need to do is as the song progresses, we need to increase the cutoff. But he also does something that it's really cool and he does it to the detune. Basically he puts an automation, at least I feel that he does, puts the automation to the detune, and as the song progresses, the detune of the stereo oscillator, it gets a little bit more troubly. So let listen to what you have over here. The detune gets a little bit more troubly, and it creates a cool effect, but we're also gonna put the macro here to the cutoff. So here we're gonna put it to 54%, and in the effects, we're gonna put the macro to 20%. And if you compare with the original. If you liked it, you can hit the like button. If you loved it, you can hit the subscribe or you can buy my preset pack. Again, it really helps support the channel. And I see you in the next abstract video next week. Ciao.